Hey guys, if you get any value out of this video, please feel free to donate to my channel. Link is below. Hey guys, I just wanted to share an email with you. Uh, I believe could help, that I believe could help you. All right, I got an email last month from a fellow, his name is Lenny Menudo from uh, A. Lenny Locksmith. He has a place in uh, Boca, as well as uh, Orlando and Tampa, a fellow New Yorker, spoke with him last month and uh, had, a, had a consultation with him and uh, pointed out a couple of things that, that I thought he could do to help his ranking. So let's just review his email. Once again, it's not to brag, it is just to uh, show you the results that he got and uh, you may be in the same situation, so maybe this email will help you, all right? Uh, Lenny says, I, I got to say you're one of the smartest SEO guys around. I learned more in your videos than the whole 11 years GMB. I was number one, but a lot of the competition wasn't there now. They're there 10 times the competition. Uh, just to let you know, Boca went back to the three-pack. My Orlando and Tampa maps made big jumps. They were at the bottom. Here, here are the things I did. Uh, Lenny obviously was using his phone. He was probably in the middle of a job. But basically what he said was uh, his rankings were dropping. And uh, his rankings were dropping. And we made some changes. I, I, I uh, gave him some suggestions. He made some changes. And here's what he did. Okay. He fixed uh, all his citations. I noticed that his citations, meaning his name, address, and phone number across the web were wrong. So I suggested that he uh, go to... Uh, a place that fixes citations like uh, Yext or um, Whitespark or The Hoth. I'll put the links below and you can check those places to get uh, to fix your citations. So he did that. The second thing he did was he hired a uh, Google photographer, uh, a 360 photographer. This is somebody contracted by Google, a freelancer, who will come to your uh, office uh, or a place of business and they will do a 360 tour. It's usually around $500, $600 for them to come out depending on your area. But if you're having trouble ranking, uh, I would say that this would be a great investment because it's verifying to Google that you have a real, um, a real business, especially, especially, uh, businesses like, uh, especially business like, uh, locksmiths, you know, uh, these type of businesses are uh, notorious for, be take, for being taken down uh, by Google because uh, they think that they're not, they're not real businesses. So hiring the 360 photographer would be a great idea. All right. And the other thing would be uh, posting pictures the right way. So we're just going to review those three. This is going to be a short video, but you'll get the ha hang of it. I already have my tabs loaded. Okay. So you'll go over to Yext. Uh, I, I like Yext because they have a control panel. Uh, once you put in all your information, you just load your pictures to the control panel and it sends it out to about 100 or 200 citations. You don't have to go to each one individually. It's expensive though. Depending on the plan, it could be anywhere from uh, $500 to $1,000 a year. And uh, if you don't renew, they cut you off and you go back to where you are. Uh, all your citations will be broke again. So, you know, I think it's the best service. However, it's very expensive. Now, WhiteSpark has a citation building service also. If you go to services, you see it says citation and cleanup. It's uh, whitespark.ca. Like I said, uh, below I will, sh I will uh, include this link. So you don't have to write it down. It's, it'll be right below. All right. And the other one was the Hoth. T H E H O T H dot com. They have another citation uh, cleanup service. These are the three that I use for cleanup services. All right. Next one is to hire a Google trusted photographer. Once again, I'll put this link below. And what they do is they come out and they take pictures of your office. So you just put in your city name and they'll have a freelancer with the contact number. From what I understand, and somebody told me this, who's a bit of an insider, said that they have a, uh, a control panel on their side that confirms to Google that you're a real business. So if you've been uh, 
your website, your, your GMB has been suspended many times and you have a physical location, I would suggest to have a uh, Google trusted photographer come out right away to take pictures. The last thing is that when you're doing Google posts in your GMB or you're posting pictures on your Facebook, here's what you want to do. I'm using Huntington Pulmonary, which is one of my clients. I'm using them as, a, as an example. You want to do three things. You want to use a picture. You want to put in the keyword that you're trying to rank for. You want to add the logo. And then you want to add the name, address, and phone number, otherwise known as the NAP. Now this is when you do your GMB posts. You don't just put in uh, you don't just put in a picture. You don't just put in a picture without the keyword, the logo, and the name, address, and phone number. You need to add those three elements to get the most out of the picture. We're seeing that if your images are strong, meaning that when you do a, key, a keyword search and your images are coming up, that is a good sign that you'll be found on the first page of Google for organic searches as well as uh, three-pack searches. So add your name, address, and phone number, add your keyword to the picture, as well as the name, address, and phone number. I hope this lesson helped you, and if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, leave a comment below. I'll answer right away, or you could email me at Brett Maletta at gmail.com and uh, stay safe everyone thank you